Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Today is the day we're going to excavate, although something very fishy is going on now. I must undo what has been done. Father, I'm coming. Hello, Stanley. Anybody else? No. He's alone. Good morning. Stanley? Uh -oh. Ah, Miss Bateman. Mr. Shoulder left a note for you. Thank you, Stanley. Miss Bateman, meet me at my home as soon as you read this. There is no time to waste. Leonard. Oh. Oh, there were a key with it, too. Hmm. Weird. This small key was enclosed with Mr. Shoulder's note. Hmm. Miss Bateman, I beg you, in the name of God, leave this town. Father Roach, what is the meaning of this? There's now for you here, lass. Clear off. I beg you, Miss Bateman. Father Roche, Mr. Farnaby, here to wish Miss Bateman good luck for her excavation, gentlemen. Am I heck? Mr. Come on, Kemp, Cyril. You know, an excavation strongly supported by Lord Panswick, no less. I wish you well with your findings. Miss Bateman, may the Lord strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. Yeah, little children, guard yourselves from idols. Good luck, Miss Bateman. Thank you. Huh. He supports us now. I mean, he always did. So I we're must still make there. Haste to Mr. Shoulder's okay. residence. <laughs> Mr. Shoulder's residence. I must make. Oh, I cannot go anywhere else. But don't we go through there? Yeah, we do. The Smith is not here. A horseshoe. The horseshoe is nailed firmly to the wall. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Can I go there? Let's make no. haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. Okay. Cannot get astray. Is the church open? I must make haste oh. to Mr. Shoulder's I got it. <laughs> I cannot even look at the grave no more. Look who it is. Douglas? What? We can take his sword and we can sit down for a second. Douglas dropped his toy sword. It's just a toy. It's no use to me. What? I want it. Why did he run away? Something's going on. I've no desire. To but you have Where desired. Where did the hens go? Yeah, to pick up a chicken. Uh oh. A fearsome-looking beast. Shoulder. No sign of any movement. Dang. What's this? What's this? <laughs> What's this? A 
box. It's locked. We have a key for it. Mr. Shoulder, I got your note. Explain yourself. He's sacrificing Curses. the chickens somewhere. Can I now have a that? A carved stone has been affixed yeah, to I the know. door. Take it. I think it depicts a crescent moon. It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. Let's open it. The key fits. Another one of oh. these peculiar stones. A B P A. Wait, does this mean Mr. Shoulder was the third man on my father's excavation? There's a note underneath. My heart is his heart. My light is his light. Weird. A B P A Cass and I A W A rooster two snakes and a naked man A woman I don't know Huh. The window is much too high up to reach. Okay. Let's excavate them. <laughs> what could go wrong? Everything seems normal. Should we? Yeah, I think we go directly. There's... Oh. Wait, what? It's dead? It's dead. The poor thing is beyond help. What? Why is that? Uh oh. What's with the goat? Is the goat alive? It's gone. The goat is gone. That can't be good. Hello? Is anyone home? Uh oh. Hmm, he's not answering. That's bad. was a R. Hmm. A B P A. A B P A. I don't know. Good morning, men. Thank you for braving the weather. Ah, miss. Little rain is no bother. So, may we start? Yes, we've not a moment to waste. Don't you instruct them how to excavate? And so, measurements? the excavation of Hobbs Barrow began. Horace and his men learnt quickly and went about their work with care. Oh, they learned quickly, okay. We toiled for hours, rolling away great stones, removing mortar and masonry put in place by Father, Mr. Bryden and Mr. Shoulder. They had gone to great lengths to seal the barrow. I should have realised their efforts were not only to keep us out, but also to keep something contained within. Eventually, our careful application of pick, trowel and shovel gave way to open space. A stagnant, cadaverous odour was let forth. The 
the seal was broken. I couldn't believe my eyes. What's in there? Splendid work, all of you. Step inside, miss. We'll be right behind you. Thank you, Horace. I can't wait a moment longer. The flowers. Flowers? I can't get my head around this. How could they possibly grow here? Horace, come see this. He won't. They're gone. Horace! <laughs> fairly standard Bronze Age pottery. Bronze Smashed Age, to high heaven, okay. I'm afraid. Not worth making a note of. What? Everything is worth making a note of. Archaeology is not about treasures. <laughs> That's unbelievable. A burial urn, perhaps. Though there's no sign of ashes. An unremarkable find. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Take it. Draw it. Photograph it. Land, perhaps. <laughs> Though there's no sign of ashes. Take measurements. Something. An unremarkable. <laughs> Let's look outside. Before we look at the flowers. Yep, Shafts. they're gone. I knew it. I've been abandoned. Yes, you have. Can we fiddle? To the I can't pot. see how that. <laughs> they look the same as the flowers that were stuffed down Mr. Ambrose's throat. Strange. That is strange indeed. Maybe that's what gave us all the visions. <laughs> Try as I might, these flowers are steadfastly rooted. <clears throat> So, we take the knife? Let's see if I can cut them away. Hmm. Incredible. Something has been boarded up here. Two rocks. Did we take some of the flowers? They might get useful. The rock appears to be holding the boards in place. The rock appears... The boards are held down by two large rocks. Can we move them is the question. Yeah. Iron stakes have been driven through the boards, holding them firmly in place. I feel uneasy about what might lie beneath, but what choice do I have? Well, you could just go home. That would be one choice, but uh, let's try and pry them open. Hmm. I can't seem to budge the stakes with this. Okay, the trowel. <laughs> no. Oh, it works. A passage. Father, I'm coming. I don't think he's down there. Okay. It's dark. Uh-oh. Curses. <laughs> Am I out of paraffin? Thank goodness. Okay. More flowers? Where does that lead to? Okay, we need to go down here. A staircase? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, not again. My lantern went out, for good this time. I had no choice but to venture forth into the darkness. With each step, the passage narrowed in every conceivable way, until I was on hand and knee, crawling through thick clumps of vegetation. The odour of that dank soil was somehow unnatural. I crawled for an age, until I emerged in a cavern that seemed lit by the very earth itself. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I did not expect that. Is there something? No. A great stone slab of a door. What is this place? Can knock. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> It's as solid as it looks. What can we do? We can chisel it away. We can recite that poem. It doesn't seem that they go in there. There are no slots. Let's chisel. Well, I could, <laughs> but I don't have a year to chip through this door. <laughs> I mean, you have, kind of. You're down here now. Well, I could. <laughs> well, I could. Okay. Is there anything else? Can we just go back? I must push forward. No. <laughs> she says she has no choice, but she could just go back. You always have a choice. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. We know that doesn't work. <sighs> So I'm we afraid either... I can't shift it, even a hair's breadth. Yeah. We either maybe play the fiddle. No, that won't. Okay. Or recite the poem, if it's hmm. a poem. No, that won't work. Or, or maybe that's we fiddle that's that. That's a peculiar idea. No, it's not notes. Then. No, that won't. Yeah. Maybe I can combine these? Hmm. No, that won't work. I cannot. No. I don't have many options here. I can't see. No. I cannot go further. Panel. Oh! Oh! A thin strip of stone. It's a slightly different colour to the rest of the masonry. It is. This stone panel seems somewhat loose. This stone panel feels firmly affixed. A thin strip... Okay. So this one is loose. The blade of the trowel is too thick to wedge between the stonework. Curses. The panel is slightly loose, but it feels like the knife will snap in two if I push any harder. Okay. The chisel. Perhaps I can chip away at the edge of the stonework here. Don't break anything. Well, the chisel broke, but what have we here? Oh no, we don't have a chisel no more? Hmm. Ah. Three niches have been carved into the stone. Okay. Now we have slots. That's where those stones go. But... Here it says... Rho, Theta, Epsilon, He. Rho, Theta, Epsilon, He.
that's something else, I think. Wait. No, they mean nothing. Huh. But he looks in that direction, so maybe that goes here. I thought maybe they need to fit. Then that would go here. No, that doesn't fit, though. No, I think that goes in the middle. Which one? That one. No. I want to have the other. No. <laughs> Dang it. That's the snakes, right? Do I need to read something? They look there. Brian. Shoulder. Shoulder, Brian. Journal stone. I think that goes here. That's... And I think the shoulder one goes in the middle. Cat's paw. <laughs> I are. That's not it. I'm afraid I can't shift it even a hair's breadth. Hard is his hard, light is his light. Must be in here. Localized woman. A place of miracles. A planet seed sprouted before our eyes and illuminated our path. Nature's laws hold no meaning here, but I clutch my tablet with the knowledge that it shall end this. We found the code was simply in the singularity of the characters. The singularity of the characters. What does that even mean? There's a a a a row. So that would be the first. Two. Oh, one, two, three. Dang it. <laughs> one, <laughs> uh, two, three. Oh, A that click. was too easy. I was overthinking it. Can I look at it? Yeah, one star, two star, three stars. And I was thinking they have to match somehow. Yaw. I don't think that reads anything. That was misleading with the singularity of the character. Oh, here we go. Oh, and that refers... Wait. We have I-A-W. I-A-W. Oh, 
maybe I have to... Oh, I can press them, right? I A W A B P A C A Z. I write that down. Wait a second. But why are these special? So I A W A B P A C A Z. It's open. Oh my. The light. Ah, look at these guys. Curses. Goodness me. There's nothing Bronze Age yeah. about this. Roman? Ancient Greek? No, this Doesn't is something neither, yeah. else. These are the two things that were also depicted on the stone from Mr. Shoulder, right? One guy holding both. The figure is presenting what looks like a sheaf of wheat. Ah, a sheaf the of figure wheat. Okay. Is that, is that a fisherman? The figure or is holding a whip. A ah. whip. Okay. The figure is. There's a small hole in the front of the box. A lock, perhaps. Okay, we need a key. A beautifully ornate pot. This is the only one with a lid. The tiles are broken here, exposing the soil beneath. The soil feels as hard as rock despite this damp environment. Why are there torches burning? This one has shattered to pieces. Mm. These are all empty. Mm. These okay. are all empty. All empty. <laughs> that looks so funny. There is a nook hidden within the fist, as if to hold something. Okay, we need torches or something, I suppose. What do we have? We have a fiddle, a knife, uh, the journal, a trowel, and the note. And that's it. And I think that's how I end the episode we got here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's look inside it there. <laughs> I'm curious. I want to know. Uh oh, don't break it. Sealed tight. Okay. Don't There's something rattling round inside. Okay. Empty. There's nothing inside these. And that? There's nothing inside okay. these. <laughs> hmm. Some situations do call for brute force. Oh. Don't break it. Oh, she broke it. There's something here, made of wood. No archaeologist would do that. It looks like a crank handle. Oh, didn't expect that. Oh, look, there's another part. A simple wooden crank handle. So that goes in the box? A pot. We picked it up. Maybe that goes in there. Well, we'll find out in the next episode. Or shall we shall we use that? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> it fits in the hole. Yeah, let's, let's do that so that we can proceed immediately in the next episode. See what's in there. Light. My word. What? The box is full of seeds. Oh. They glow in a most unnatural manner. Yet I feel compelled to take some. That was what, what was mentioned in the journal. The seeds glow in a most unnatural manner. So they go in the soil, I think. These are the flowers that we see everywhere. I don't need to take more. I want more. 
Oh, water. I know what to do. We collect water. Let's do that real quick. Ice cold. We collect water. I've collected some water in the pot. Awesome. Anything else that I missed? I don't think so. So we plant the seeds, we water the seeds, a flower will grow. Uh, it'll be... I don't know what. Something grows that we can make a torch of. We put the torches in here and the door will open, right? That's how it works. And that's how I end the episode. <laughs> Look how she looks. <laughs> okay, there we go. And uh, in the next one, it'll be easy. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.